going to do a morphology lesson for sixth graders. Um, the topic is identifying Greek and Latin roots. Um, so the students are going to learn the meanings of these Greek um, gods and explore the English words that have those roots asso and associated meanings. So the lesson is set up using flashcards um, that have the Greek god on one side and then the um, explanation of, of who that god is. And so what they're going to do is then um, write words that they can think of that contain that root word and then find the meaning based on that root word and what they have in common. So, for example, we go uh, talk about Hygieia. Um, the students have been reading uh, Greek myths, and so these are all taken from the text that we've been reading, and now we're going to break down the meanings of their names. So, Hygieia is the Greek goddess of health, and um, so they would first write um, health, I mean, Hygieia, on the um, worksheet, and then they're going to write some words uh, containing that root that they can think of, like as hygiene as an example. Um, and then um, they will think of the meaning of these word, of the root word based on all the things they could think of. So um, in regards to cleanliness or, or hygiene, that kind of thing would go in that box. And so our first word is Phobos. Phobos. I remember him from the book we read. He was the son of Ares. And didn't his name mean fear? Yeah, because it like, had to do with the war. Yeah. All right, so that's it. So the word is phobos. So some words we can think of, mm, like phobia. Or phobic. Or phobic. Phobia. Phobic. So what do you think the root word means based on what the words you've listed have in common. So phobia and phobic. Um, they describe types of fear. So and his name meant fear. So it must be have something to do with fear. Okay. So something to do with fear. Cool. All right. Let's go to the next word. The next word is gigantus. So some words with the same root word, like gigantic. gigantic. And we know gigantic has to do with being like really big, mm -hmm. like ginormous. Weren't they like ferocious creatures? Yeah, the ferocious yeah. creatures in the book. Mm -hmm. So big, ferocious creatures maybe. Mm -hmm. And then let's see on the back, it says, ferocious beings of tremendous size and power. It was a so lot of big power. and powerful. Big. Yeah. So um, to assess the students, I would be walking around, making sure that each partner um, is contributing to the conversation and coming up with ideas. And um, that way I could check if anybody's struggling. Um, I could also collect the worksheets at the end and able to be able to uh, be sure that each student is coming up with the, with the um, correct information. And um, that, is, that is the way to assess.